Hello friends and families, I'm Allison with Detroit Children's Theatre and today is a great day to use our imaginations. What is this next to me? Does anybody know what this looks like? Wait, wait, speak up, I can't hear you. You're right. It sort of looks like a stage or a theater. How cool. You know what? Has anybody been to the theater before? Not sure? Well, you might have been to the theater for a movie. There's something called movie theaters. Or you might have been to the theater to see a play or maybe a musical. Has anybody ever done anything like that? Anybody? Yeah! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love the theater. And you know what? Being that we are Detroit Children's Theater, I thought it might be cool to teach you a fancy word that has to do with the theater. This looks like a small version of a big theater. I wanna teach you a big word. This type of theater space is called proscenium. Proscenium theater, that is a huge word. Let's try it nice and slow. Proscenium. So close. Try it one more time, it's tough. Ready? Proscenium. That's it, good. This is an example of a proscenium theater space. And do you want to know why? Do you see this arch right up here? and this big rectangle shape, well, it separates the stage area from the audience, which is where you are. You're in the audience right now. That is proscenium theater. And you know what? Most of the time when people think of theater, this is the kind of space they think about. Now, today I have this miniature version up of a proscenium theater because it is used for a specific kind of theater. Anybody have any guesses as to what kind of theater we might do today? Did you say puppet theater? If you did, you are right. It is going to be a puppet show today inside our puppet theater. Now, I heard that you may have made your own puppets with Leah from Detroit Children's Theater. I think that she might have sung with you a song called Down by the Bay, and I think that she might have even helped you build some puppets to sing that song. Now, if you did that video with her, you can take those puppets you made and use them inside of your own puppet theater. You could simply take a cardboard box, because this is just a rectangle, and then with a grown-up's permission and help, you could cut a rectangle out inside of it. And then you'd have your own little theater. Because look, this is just a rectangle inside of a rectangle. Set it on its side and there you go. And if you wanted to get fancy, you could put a backdrop behind it. This just comes right out. You don't need it. In fact, mine is made out of wood. It was a gift from very special friends of ours. And um, my children, I've got two little girls, my children use this puppet theater to play with. So you can have a backdrop. It's just hanging back here if you want, but you don't necessarily need to have one. Now, if you did not do that video with Leah yet, where you made your own puppets, you can click on over to that video when you're done with this one, and you can have lots of fun. But what I would like to do is get into our story. And the story that I would like to tell today with our puppets is the story of the Little Red Hen. Now my puppets, they came from the store. I didn't make them. I am not that good of a sewer. And I think that this puppet, I don't know. I think it might be a rooster, not really a hen, but I'm gonna use it for today. So I wanna introduce the characters that are going to be in the story of the Little Red Hen. We've got the hen. What does a hen say? Cluck, 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 cluck. Next up, we've got the duck. What 
does a duck say? Are you saying ribbit ribbit? That's not what the duck says. Ribbit ribbit is a froggy silly. The duck says quack quack quack. That's right. Good. All right. The next animal we're going to meet in the story is the cow. That's right. I love making the cow sound. What does the cow say? Moo. Right? Good. Oh, some of you are doing other sounds out there. That's okay. We can be silly. All right. Horse. What horse is next? What does the horse say? Nay. Nay. Very good. Has anybody ridden a horse? You, you have, and you have, and, and you have? Ugh, you are lucky. I've only ridden a horse once, and it was a long time ago. All right, last up is <gasps> the pig, the pig. I love the pig. You get to sound so silly when you do it, and it's okay to feel silly. Sometimes I have the most fun when I'm being super silly. All right, so without further ado, I would love to present to you the story of The Little Red Hen. One summer day, the little red hen found a grain of wheat. <gasps> a grain of wheat, said the little red hen to herself. I will plant it. She asked the duck. you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, quack, quack, said the duck. She asked the cow. Will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I, moo, said the cow. She asked the horse. Will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I said the horse. She asked the dun 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 She asked the pig, Will you help me plant this grain of wheat? Not I said the pig. Then I will plant this grain of wheat by myself, said the little red hen, and she did. Soon, the wheat grew tall, and the little red hen knew it was time to reap it. Who will help me reap this wheat? She asked. She asked the duck. Nay, quack, 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 said the duck. She asked the cow. Not I, woo, said the cow. She asked the horse. Not I, said the horse. She asked the pig. Not I, said the pig. Then I will reap it myself. And she did. She reaped the wheat and it was ready to be taken to the mill and made into flour. Who will help me carry the wheat to the mill? Who did she ask next? She asked the duck. <gasps> Not I, said the duck. She asked the cow. Ooh, not I, said the cow. She asked the horse. Not I said the horse. Who'd she ask? She asked the pig. Not I, <coughs> said the pig. Hmm, then I will carry it to the mill myself, said the little red hen, and she did. She carried the wheat to the mill, and the miller made it into flour. When she got it home, she asked, who will help me make the flour into dough? She asked the duck. 
Not I, quack, 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 said the duck. She asked the cow, not I, moo, said the cow. She asked the horse, not I, said the horse. She asked the pig, not I, <laughs> said the pig. Then I will make the dough myself, said the little red hen, and she did. Soon the bread was ready to go into the oven. Who will help me bake the bread, said the little red hen. She asked the duck. What do you think the duck said? We know now, right? The duck says, not I, quack, 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 said the duck. Who does she ask next? She asks the cow. And what does the cow say to her? Not I, moo, said the cow. Then she asks who? <gasps> the horse. And what does the horse say to her? Not I, said the horse. And finally, who does she ask last? Who does she ask last? <gasps> the pig. And what does the pig say? <laughs> That's right. Not I, <coughs> said the pig. Then I will bake it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. After the loaf had been taken from the oven, it was set on the windowsill to cool. And now, said the little red hen, who will help me eat the bread? Mmm, yummy. Oh, and who comes up to the windowsill? The duck said, I will, said the duck. Who will help me eat this bread? Mmm. I will, Ooh, said the cow. Who will help me eat this bread? The horse says, oh, I will. And the pig says, I will. What do you think the little red hen says? She says, no, I will eat it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. Did you enjoy that puppet show? Oh, good. Now, I would like for you to be able to practice doing something that you would do if you were seeing theater live in front of you and not on screen right now. Something that happens at the end of a show is what's called curtain call. It's where the actors come back onto the stage at the very end so that they can take a bow. And you, that's you, as the audience would start to <laughs> clap and applaud, right? So let's practice that. Our show is done. It's curtain call time. The actors come out onto the stage. They take their bow and what are you doing? Are you applauding? Are you clapping? Oh, now I hear it. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, this is done so that we can say thank you to each other. The actors are bowing, saying thank you to you as the audience members for coming to see their show, saying thank you for acknowledging all the hard work and preparation that they did. And you, as audience members are applauding to show that thanks, to show that you recognize all of the hard work that went into the show and all of the enjoyment that you had because of it. Now the story we did today with the Little Red Hen, I think it kind of falls along those lines. Preparation, hard work, enjoyment, that's kind of what the little red hen did, isn't it? She had a lot of hard work and preparation in order to make her bread. 
and then she was able to enjoy it by eating it at the end, right? Now, when we think about the story, she asked for help lots of times along the way, right? She asked the duck, she asked the cow, she asked the horse, she asked the pig. And what did everybody tell her? No, they're not helping. So when we got to the end of the story and she finally had this delicious bread, did she share that bread with everybody who told her no along the way? No. The duck and the cow and the horse and the pig all missed out on that wonderful enjoyment because they didn't put any of the hard work into it. We've talked a lot today about good choices, bad choices, hard work, theater, proscenium theater, puppet theater, what to do at the end of a show that you see at the theater. Man, you all did such great work. I am so proud of you. Thank you for, for hanging out with me today. If you liked the video, make sure that you subscribe to Detroit Children's Theater. Make sure you like our channel. And that way you can stay updated when we have future videos coming up onto the channel. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.